Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garret. Today I'm going to do some more work to the Renault 5 GT Turbo. This car is going to a wheel alignment next week. Um, it actually went last week and they got the wheels changed, the tires changed because they were worn extremely much due to a wrong alignment. It was a bit weird because it wasn't really noticeable, the car tracked fine, but um, it was really wrong. Anyway, at the wheel alignment shop, they noticed that there was some play in the steering rod. And that is what I'm going to fix today, because if you align a car with play in those parts, then it won't really matter because it won't be precise enough. So I'm going to change that today. And I changed the bearing yesterday, so the uh, steering so the steering ball joint is already loose from the, from the stop or the whatever it's called. And, um, this is actually not bad, but I'm going to change that anyway. It is slightly, or it's actually all right. But the problem is this rod and the inner joint, there is play going in and out. It's very little and I can't show it to you. You could feel it in the steering. You could feel it when, with the wheel on, but right now it's almost impossible. But we're going to change that and I'm going to get some gloves on. First thing, I've loosened up this nut so I can spin this one off. When doing this, it is advisable to count the amount of turns needed. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to measure because I'm going to change this. So I'm going to measure to, to and hopefully get it somewhat precise. And then the shop is not more than five kilometers away, so it won't be that bad if it's not right on. With this one off, I can cut the zip ties holding the boot on and pull that off. And then we can pull the rubber boot right off like that. It is possible to get this one off using a uh, a pipe wrench, but it's not the right way to do it. And I have just bought myself this tool today that is uh, designed for this kind of work. This is in here got some bearing thingies that lock up when turned because this is just a round head. So when I put this one onto the rod and all the way in and turn it, it locks up and then I can use a ratchet, wrench it off. Oh, it is already loose enough to be done by hand. Oops. And this right here is the joint that got wear in it. And it's impossible to feel, but it is very loose. So, uh, yeah, we're going to change it. Here we got the new one. It is very tight. I can't even, I can't even make it bend. But before putting that on, this little thing needs to go on. This is designed to lock it. Like so, and then we can spin that on on. put on and then locked so that we can turn it. And this is most likely needing a specific torque amount that you can see in the manual. I haven't got it right on hand. And then 
it's time to put the rubber boot back on. Yes, I could have changed this, but it's even though it's very dirty, it doesn't really. There's nothing wrong with it. And sometimes the new you buy are worse quality than the old. But this car, this engine is having a oil leak, a massive oil leak at the moment. I wonder who built this engine. So I'm gonna sort that out and then clean all this stuff up. Like that. Oh. Like before fitting this, I'm gonna loop it up because I don't want it to seize completely. And then I'm going to measure it against the old one. Like so. And this is just to drive it a couple of kilometers down the road to the, to, to the alignment shop, because this is going to be extremely unprecise, of course. And uh, yeah, it's not good. I am trying to get some equipment to do this myself, the alignment, because that could be cool and fun. But I haven't got it yet. And then I'm going to hold the rod in here with this and then tighten this one up. There we go. And then this is just going back. Into this like so, and then the nylock nut goes on. Then I'm just going to clean the brake disc off because I did get some oily fingers on that and it doesn't help the braking system. There we go. A new steering rod and steering ball joint is now fitted to the car and it should be ready for the alignment so it can be used again. It's been like torture having this car at my place without being able to drive it because it will just wreck the tires completely. So now it's just a matter of hoping they have time soon in the local alignment shop and then get it aligned and then yeah I'm also going to try to fix that oil leak issue of course but uh, yeah that's nice. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.